You know, people love celebrities. People love celebrities to the point of idolizing them. You know, they put them in such a high regard. You know, we love looking at them, what they wear in. Some going even as far as getting plastic surgery to even look like them. That's not a good thing, needless to say. So people are following all these celebrities and idolize them to the point that when they find out that they're not squeaky clean or that they're just people because, you know, celebrities are just people. They're disappointed. They're disappointed. They get angry. They, they get dismayed. They, they're disillusioned because they had them as goals, whether it's body goals or, or relationship goals or things of that sort. Meanwhile, they end up not being what they thought they were. I mean, perfect example, the whole Will and Jada thing. Jada Pinkett Smith finally came out and said, hey, we're married on paper, but we've been separated for years. They've been separated since, since 2016 or whatever. And, you know, that's been internet fodder ever since she basically confirmed that you know people have been having fun and poking fun and there are some that have feigned surprise while others are taking it personally like they have been betrayed in such way but this is what happens when you put people in such a light where it is a form of worship a form of idolization you're idolizing these people are putting these people up on an altar, so to speak, as if they are perfect. These people that you do not know and have never met, putting them into a position of importance in your life. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand looking at some of these people, like if it's an athlete, oh, I want to be as good as this athlete. I want to study how they got there. This actress, she's a great actress. I love her skills. I love what she's wearing. I'd like to aspire to be like her as far as what she does and how she did it there's nothing wrong with that and we touched on this before there's nothing wrong with finding inspiration in someone else and sort of having them as the blueprint there's nothing wrong for admiring someone who does something well Everybody has a favorite of something, whether it be, you know, in music, oh, this is my favorite singer, this is my favorite, you know, basketball player, yada, yada, yada. We're not talking about that. So, so that's, that's fine, but it can easily cross the line to idolizing these people when you're so emotionally invested and put so much stock into a thing that it becomes a priority in your life. That's what we're talking about idolizing. Meanwhile, a lot of these celebrities, whether it be Instagram celebrity or, or Hollywood celebrity, athlete celebrity, you know, they're going to present themselves in a certain way. They're not going to come out and say, oh, I'm broke. I only got two cents in, in my bank account. No, they're going to show you the best of the best, sir. They're going to show you in the finest cars and this, and they got all the women or they got all the men's and they're being flued out and all this other stuff. Meanwhile, they broke or broken and they are still trying to figure it out for themselves but y'all don't see that part you only see the glitz and the glamour but if you would pull back the curtain there's a lot of chaos and sadness going on but a lot of people are attracted to the shiny thing and they want to be associated with this thing this shiny pretty powerful rich thing. You know, Doja Cat, she's a singer. She said something not too long ago. She sort of chastised, I guess it was one of her fans. They wanted to know what they should call themselves. You know how Beyonce has the beehive and Taylor Swift has the Swifties. Taking off her name of Doja Cat, they wanted to know whether they could have her permission to call themselves kittens. And Doja Cat basically said, no, I don't know you. You don't know me. Basically, so many words get a life now i will say the manner in which she said it and maybe some of the words that she used the delivery could have been a little softer it, it it was it came across pretty harsh it came across pretty cold and harsh i mean she could have catered it to her audience a little better because i'm sure a lot of them are young you know when you're young you know everything is big and important you got posters on the walls you, you know so much is being influenced and colored by what is around you. You're still trying to figure yourself out. So you do take a little bit of this and that and, you know, and try and form your own version of yourself. But I, and I'm sure it's some others, 
I understood what she was saying. It was basically, don't put me as this. Don't focus so much on me because you don't know me. You don't know what I'm about. So don't put me on this pedestal and be so worried about what to call yourself to the point where you want to call yourselves little mini me's. Just enjoy the music and, and, and move on. Like this should not be the most important thing that you have going on right now. I said I, That's how I took it. And I think she has a point. I really do. And we already know that it's not just kids and young folks that, that idolize. Anybody can idolize. There are grown folks that idolize other grown folks all the time. There are a lot of people that worship and they put a lot of onus on these celebrities that they really shouldn't. I mean, just like with the whole Oprah thing, Oprah and The Rock, when the devastating fires hit Hawaii, Oprah went out there and she did some things and I think gave out, you know, blankets or was basically trying to be, you know, boots on the ground and help out in person. But not only that, she gave money. She and The Rock, they gave however many millions to the cause of getting Hawaii restored. And in doing so, not only did they give money, but they left it open for other people to help, you know, in the cause too. Well, honey, they got such a backlash over that and people felt like, not everybody, but a lot of people felt like, well, you so rich, why are you asking us to give all money, why don't you just pay for it all, basically? Now, I don't know whether any of them knew prior to that she had given money, but they were looking at them like they are celebrities. Why should we help out? You got all the money. And I thought to myself, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, Oprah and whomever else, that is not their job to save a whole state. In fact, they didn't have to do anything, but they did what they felt in their heart to do. So they turned the tables and said, hey, if you feel it in your heart to do something, then why not give to this? We are in charge of this and we will be sure that the money gets to the people. Here you go. This is a way to help. People were so disenchanted and just disparaging the whole effort. And I thought that was unfair. You know, you sort of like you can't win for losing. Now, she hadn't given any money. And it's like, oh, you have a house in Hawaii. How come you couldn't give no money? But being that she did give money, it wasn't enough. You gave millions, why can't you give them all? You know what I mean? And I've heard that time and time again with other stuff, even being on Instagram. It was an actress and something else was going on in the world. And I guess she didn't post quick enough for somebody. And they said, how come you're not posting about such and such going on in, you know, whatever side of the world and this and that. And... I normally don't respond to other people's comments, but I, I did respond to this one. I said, listen, maybe this person didn't know and don't look to these celebrities as, as being the beacons of virtue. Whatever you feel like they should be doing, you do it first. Yes, they have a platform, but their voice is no more important than yours. If this is on your heart that you want something done about this or you want to send a couple of dollars to this charity or whatever, then do it. But don't chastise other people because you don't think that they're doing what you think that they should be doing. Because honestly, you don't even know what they are doing. They could have done stuff. Not everybody announces everything. So anyway, I was thankful that the person received it the way I was trying to give it out. I was trying to give them a different perspective. Like, why are you looking to this celebrity to be the end all be all? You're just as important. You see a cause, then, then be about that cause. Donate your $5 or whatever it is and, and go about your business. So thankfully, she was able to receive it. The person did respond and say, you know what? You're right. You know, da, 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 da. But but yeah, we put too much on these celebrities, too much importance. It's too much idolization going on. You got people out here spending their rent money, spending their mortgage money, scraping that together to go see whomever on tour. You know, oh, I got to go see this person on tour because there's a lot of people on tour right now. But I got to go see this person on tour and I got to follow them to every city and I got to wear the clothes. I got to wear my hair like this. And da, da, da. You're focused in on the wrong thing. I understand everybody needs a little respite. Everybody needs a little fantasy in their life. You know what I mean? That's what movies are for. And that's why you go to concerts and that's why, you know, you buy your records and this and that. I get it. But to the point where you are going to put yourself at a deficit and you feel like your life is not complete, 
if you do not see this person or, or wear this certain clothing, because it doesn't just have to be celebrities. You know, people idolize and worship other people and things all the time. You know, you see a handsome man, you know, this and that on Instagram, you just stalking his page and just everything. You want to know his background. And then I, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Find yourself something else to do. Or you might see a beautiful woman, you know, you might see her, you know, a picture or a video and this and that. And you're just thinking, oh, wow, she has it all together. She's beautiful and this and that. She got body body, her hair's long, her eyelashes are long. Everything's just long and, and right. She's telling stories about her being flewed out somewhere and men are just fawning over her and just buying her things. Meanwhile, again, you don't know what's going on with her. She could be sad and lonely. Yeah, she got all the baubles and the trinkets and the this and that and she's able to attract a man but she's not able to keep one. You don't know what's going on. So to obsess over these people and giving them a priority slot in your life, that is idolizing them and that is wrong. People worship and idolize money. We all know the songs that talk about get the Benjamins, honey, and cream, ash rules, everything around. I mean, we know the songs. Money, 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 money. We know the songs that basically exalt being rich and having money. And again, it's not the money. It's the love of money. It's the worship of money that is the sin. So you don't want to idolize money and worship things. You know, back in the biblical days, you know, it was actual statues shoes and this and that. Well, the new idols are not the golden calves of old, but rather it's beauty, it's money, it's celebrity, it's cars, it's fame. I mean, you name it, you can make anything an idol. So we want to be careful of that because you do not want to leave yourself open to putting a person, place, or thing, not only over your life, but in place of God. God is the only thing that should be worshipped because he, he, he's the only thing that matters. He's the only thing that's consistent. He's the only thing that's real, okay? Because all this other stuff going to pass away. So none of this is permanent and nobody has the perfect life. I mean, nobody. Money cannot buy you happiness. Not only can it not buy you happiness, but it can't buy you into the most important place you could ever want to be. The Bible says that it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. Now that, now that just says it says it all. So I say all that to say we focused in on the wrong things. We focused in on celebrity and all these things and baubles and shiny things. We are being distracted by the nonsense and the temporary instead of keeping your mind on the permanent and what's important. And that is your relationship with God. So stop idolizing these people. Celebrities are just, they, they just people that a lot of people know. That's it. Yes, enjoy their talents and enjoy their accomplishments, but don't make an altar to them in your life. Don't put them on no pedestal. Don't make them the new golden calf. And instead of them, focus in on God, obsess over his word and put him as number one in your life. And with that, we are going to put a button on it.